There are a few mods that I believe completely changed the way the car feels. Sometimes I wish the car came like this from the factory, but then it would just be pretty boring because you wouldn't be able to modify your car. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you my best bang for your buck mods that will completely change your Nissan Z when you first get it. My name is Zillow Full Boost and I've been around the VR30 platform for quite a bit and I've been a Nissan enthusiast for a very long time. I've had this Z already for over a year so I kind of know what I'm talking about. I will be listing two lists here. One is going to be a bonus which will be supplemental to the best bang for your buck mods. So there's going to be two categories, best bang for your buck and then the supplemental side. Now the first mod that I completely believe that you should get for the Nissan Z are coilovers. Coilovers completely change the way this car felt. The car gets extremely responsive with coilovers. You get no more floating issues as you're turning really hard. No more nose diving when you apply the brakes. The car feels extremely agile, extremely planted. Honestly, hands down, one of the best. If you're into turning and if you're into having a sporty feel, feeling car, coilovers is a must. The stock suspension just doesn't cut it. What I currently have now are silver suspension coilovers. They are single adjustable. They do have a double adjustable like these here, but these I have them set for drag racing. You want to get the single adjustable coilovers with the default setting that they have for the spring rate. I think the next mod to do when you drop your car is to get wheel spacers. I know this isn't a best bang for your buck thing. I just want to throw it in as a bonus because when you drop your car, you want to have a nice fitment. So I went with 20 millimeters all around and that gave me a pretty good fitment with the stock wheels. The second best for your bang buck mod you should do is get down pipes and not just any down pipes. Don't get lower down mm -hmm. pipes, get full down pipes. Now with the full down pipes, what that does, it allows a lot more air to flow out of your engine. Your engine's a pump, so you wanna get in air in and out. This car has Pride Auto full down pipes, which are high flow cats. And just with those down pipes, paired to the performance exhaust, the exhaust note was extremely good. It was very aggressive. It wasn't quiet at all. It was tame when you were just driving normal, but once you get on it, it's extremely, extremely good. It does make a lot of noise. There are some pops here and there. Obviously on the stock tune, there isn't that many. We all know that the exhaust is very thin on the Z. An exhaust is pretty expensive, and I don't think it gives you that much power for the money. I think the most of the restriction is gonna be on the downpipes. So like I mentioned, this is a best bang for your buck video, so I am not throwing in the exhaust. That is something that you do wanna do shortly after. It does help, but I'm gonna add those to the supplemental category. So right now we have coilovers for best bang for your buck. We have full down pipe for best bang for your buck. And I believe the next bang for your buck would be a tune. This car has been tuned with race box from the get go since I had 1500 miles on it. Ever since I tuned with race box has been a game changer. A tune will open up your car. In its factory state, when I went to tune it, I put it on the dyno and it made 380 wheel, which is pretty strong. This car is underrated from the factory, like big time. Because if it's supposed to come with 400 horsepower to the engine, you probably would make about 330 to 360 wheel, depending how efficient the transmission is. I believe the automatic transmission is pretty efficient. So I made 380 wheel horsepower. That's 20 wheel horsepower less than what's advertised to the engine. So I believe this car was making way more than a Nismo because I think the Nismos don't even make 380 right now. In that session, same very day, same dyno, we tuned the car and made 430 wheel horsepower. And that is, that's amazing for tune only. 
So that's why I'm saying a tune is your best bang for your buck. I would not get a tune until you get your full downpipes. That way you can help and tune your car to it. I always say to try to get a tune once you finish all your mods. So this is a little iffy being in the best bang for your buck because the best bang for your buck would be to tune after you do all your modifications. That way you don't get charged again for a retune. But a tune does give you the best bang for your buck because it unleashes the most power, especially paired with a full downpipe. Now, adding to the supplemental portion of the best bang for your buck, I believe the next mod should be something along the line of a heat exchanger. A heat exchanger will give you more consistent power as you push this car more and more. It does do a little bit better than the Q50 because the heat exchanger on the Z is a slightly larger. I believe it's double the size of what it's in the Q50. So it's a little better, but obviously there's no replacement for an aftermarket larger heat exchanger. You can go ahead and cop that. That's probably one of the next supplemental best bang for your bucks. It's not needed to tune the car. It's not going to give you power, but it's extremely advisable to get one. They help you consistently hold that power as you push the car. I believe the next bang for your buck mod would be a flex fuel kit. Now these cars, you don't need a flex fuel kit to run E30, but it's highly advisable to do so because a lot of people either overfill their ethanol or underfill and get an E30 tune and you end up blowing up your motor because you run a lean condition. So with the flex fuel kit off your phone with Ecutech, you'll be able to tell how much ethanol is in your gas tank so you can have the proper mix and run it safely. Now the factory system can only run up to E30. So that's why it's advisable to get a flex fuel kit. With that flex fuel kit on E30 on the factory fuel system, you can reach close to about 470 to 480 wheel horsepower just with some ethanol in the tank. With the amount of power that will be generated with the downpipes and the flex fuel together, you will absolutely shock the majority of cars on the road once you do those few mods. What up, my boy? I would suspect up, my your E30 tune to give you about a high 860 to 130, which is really good. And you'll definitely be in the tens in the quarter mile. So can you imagine having your car lowered on coilovers, making it feel extremely sporty and planted? A full downpipe, which is gonna let you have more exhaust flow and a throatier exhaust note a flex fuel kit that's going to allow you to run ethanol safely. Those mods right there will completely change the way the Z behaves, feels, looks. Hands down, best bang for your buck mods to get for your Nissan Z.